Coming up in this week's episode, I'll be talking all about a new roller coaster coming to Finland for the 2019 season. I'll then be sharing a POV from the brand new Twisted Timbers over at King's Dominion. We'll take a look at the ride vehicles for the brand new Gerstler bobsled coaster at Wallaby, Belgium, and also take a look at the latest construction images from Hyperion over at Energylandia in Poland. All that and so much more in this week's episode. I'm John Sandbrook, and that means it's time to cue those titles. It's Wednesday the 28th of March 2018 and welcome to this week's video. Now before I talk about anything else, I've got to say just how thankful I am to each and every one of you for supporting Theme Park Worldwide and the fact that very soon we're about to hit 100,000 YouTube subscribers. It really is a crazy amount of people and when I first started the channel back in 2012, I never thought we'd even reach 10,000 subscribers, never mind 100,000. At the time of filming this video, we're on 99,793 subscribers so not long to go until we hit that big number it will be in the next couple of days and I just want to say how thankful uh, I really am to each and every one of you along with everyone who's appeared in the videos over the years all of my friends who had some great memories and there's still so much to come there really is uh, and of course my amazing girlfriend Charlotte who does so much for the channel uh, you guys don't get to see everything what she does but uh, these videos wouldn't be possible uh, all the stuff what you send in all the photos, uh, she does all the admin, all the Facebook messages, Instagram, she looks after all that and she does an amazing job. So I just want to say how thankful I am to Charlotte. Uh, I'm the person who's got my face on these videos, uh, but there's so many other people uh, that I've got to thank uh, for the channel being where it is right now. So just thank you to everyone for watching and of course thank you for the memories. Uh, so many people have interacted with the channel over the past six years and yeah, we're at a crazy amount of people. 100 thousand subscribers coming up in the next few days here on Theme Park Worldwide. Stay tuned for a very special video where I'll also talk about some exciting future plans for Theme Park Worldwide and another little project that I've been working on as well. Exciting times it really is. So yes, let's move on then and talk about some Theme Park news shall we in our weekly news update. Firstly then, let's talk about a brand new roller coaster coming to a theme park in Finland. This is one that I wasn't expecting at all. It came as a bit of a surprise announcement, I'd not really heard anything about it. Uh, but here we go, it's one of those where I'm going to struggle to pronounce the name of the park, but I'm going to attempt to do it anyway. It is called uh, Linen Mackie Amusement Park, uh, which is located in Helsinki in Finland. So they've announced their biggest ever project, uh, which is a roller coaster, which is going to open next year in 2019. And it's going to be manufactured by Intamin. So we know it's going to be quite an intense roller coaster. It's also going to be a launch roller coaster. Um, so hopefully we're in for a really good ride with this one. Uh, so it's going to have a top hat, uh, which is going to be a height of 52 metres. Uh, Finland's longest track length. Uh, on a roller coaster of 1,104 meters, uh, so it's a long ride, and it's going to have a maximum speed of 106 kilometers an hour. Um, so yeah, it sounds great, this attraction. In addition to all of that, the new coaster will feature two launches and also four inversions. So it's going to be a huge new ride. I mean, it could be something a bit like Taron in terms of the fact it's got two launches, but obviously Taron doesn't have any inversions at Fantasyland. Um, so with, with this one, it looks like it could be a bit of a Taron maybe, but with four inversions, it looks like it's going to be a great ride. Here's an image released by the park the other day when they announced this huge new project. And look at that, it looks great. I hope that's going to be the colour scheme to it as well. Uh, so I really like that, very modern, very fresh feel to it. And this is certainly one that I'll have to go out and ride in 2019. Uh, so yeah, the Linen Mackie Amusement Park, uh, Helsinki uh, in Finland. So there we go, an exciting announcement for them. Of course, we'll have all the construction updates coming throughout this year and over into the winter period. Uh, that I look forward to sharing with you guys here on Theme Park Worldwide. So as always, stick with us for all the latest Theme Park construction updates. 
Next then, let's talk about a roller coaster what's open this week over in the States. It's Twisted Timbers over at King's Dominion, uh, which is a Rocky Mountain construction takeover of a former wooden coaster at the park. And I must say, uh, when we saw the animation of this, I thought it looked like it was going to be a good ride, uh, but I didn't realise quite how good it was going to be. I'll show you a POV in a few seconds time and you'll see what I mean. Uh, but it really picks up speed, this one. It looks like it's going to be a great ride uh, to go and do at some point. I'd love to get out there and ride it. Uh, a lot of our viewers are from the States, so if you've been there to ride it or if you're going there to ride it, comment below on this week's video with your review or if you're excited to go there and ride it in 2018. Uh, but here we go. Here's a few stats about the ride before I show you the POV. So you've got 3,361 feet of track. It's 111 feet tall. Uh, it's got a top speed of 54 miles per hour and features three inversions. Uh, like I say, it's RMC. They've been doing some great rides uh, over the past few years. They've really just come out there as being a massive manufacturer love to see one here in the UK at some point uh, but also the single rail rides what they've been doing look great as well something like that in the UK would be really good comment below if you'd like to see uh, a single rail uh, RMC coaster in the UK in the future uh, but here we go enough talking about it here's a POV of Twisted Timbers at King's Dominion really impressed with that coaster. It looks a lot better than what I could have ever imagined it was going to be. Like I said, I'd love to get out there and ride it at some point. Uh, so stay tuned here on Theme Park Worldwide for future trips. Got a massive America trip that I'm hoping to do next year to go and get loads of different theme parks. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that in 2019. Fingers crossed that's going to go ahead because it'll be a huge trip and one that I really want to share with all of you guys. Uh, so there we go. Moving on then back to Europe now and Wallaby Belgium. This roller coaster so I spoke about it quite a bit and I shared an update for you a couple of weeks ago on it. Uh, but yeah, theming uh, is continuing and testing is now taking place on Tiki Waka at Wallaby Belgium. I must say this ride wins the award for my favourite ride name of 2018, Tiki Waka. Woo! It's got a tiki uh, style feel to it if you haven't guessed by the name. Very tropical uh, style feel and it looks like it's going to be a great ride. It's a Gerstler bobsleigh coaster and here's a little look at the train design from this picture released by by Wallaby Belgium this week. Looks really good that, very nicely detailed. I like the colour scheme to it. Uh, you know, it just looks like a really nice themed attraction, this. It's got like a, a walkway and stuff what goes over the track. Some really nice uh, near-miss elements on it too. So yeah, I think this would be a great new addition to the park. It's opening next month. Uh, Tiki Wacker at Wallaby Belgium. I love saying that name. It's a good one, isn't it? Uh, what do you think to the name? Comment below. Have you been to Wallaby Belgium? Would you like to go there and see this attraction or any of the other attractions? I'd love to know uh, what you think to this park. Uh, like I say, ride testing is now continuing. Work on the theming is carrying on as well and it looks like it's going to be a great new addition to the park. This is part of a much larger project for them that we believe they've got plans for a mega coaster, numerous other updates over the next few years. I'm pretty sure it's a five year plan they announced for it uh, with lots of theming, redoing areas and things. Uh, so yeah, it's certainly very exciting and one that we'll always keep you up to date on here on Theme Park Worldwide. Finally then in the weekly news roundup, we're going to go back to Poland and talk a little bit about Hyperion. Now I've shared quite a few updates on this, I remember uh, telling you about this ride last year when it was announced. Uh, but construction's starting to pick up the pace now, gradually. Uh, I shared my concern a few weeks ago and I said, oh, you know, I'm not too sure if it's going to be ready for this year or not. Uh, let's be honest, Energylandia in Poland uh, have promised rides and they've ended up either not opening or being very late. Look at their water coaster, also from Intamin, uh, the same 
manufacturer who's doing Hyperion. Uh, that's been having quite a few issues. They say that's opening in the next couple of months, but let's see if it does. Originally, that was supposed to open last season uh, in 2017. Uh, so we'll see with that one. But anyway, here's a few photos, three different images uh, from Hyperion. They released us the other day uh, from the park. And yeah, here we go. So they look great. I mean, you can see here the track is starting to progress quite nicely. Now you've got the tunnel and things there, which will be at the bottom of the first drop. You can see the main entrance uh, area to Energylandia in the background and all the car parks and things are out the front of it as well. Uh, so what I can tell, obviously I've never been to this park, but what I'm imagining is, it's a bit like Europa Park in the fact that you've got the car parks and then you've got Silver Star at the side and then the main entrance. I kind of think it's going to be like that. You'll drive into the car park, see the coaster all down the right hand side and then the entrance is in front of you to the park and you know you sort of look at it and with it being their signature ride. That's what I'm imagining from it anyway. Uh, but we're hoping to go out there later this year. Well, we'll be going out there later this year, hoping to ride this uh, when it does open. The trip's not booked yet. Me and Martin are going out there to do this at some point. Uh, so I look forward to sharing that with you here on the channel. Uh, a few more stats with you about Hyperion if you've not heard them yet. Uh, obviously it's 252 foot tall uh, making it a hyper coaster uh, but the actual ride specific is an Intamin mega coaster uh, as they call them and it will reach a top speed of 88 miles per hour uh, making it a, one of the fastest roller coasters in Europe uh, when it opens. I know they've had quite a few uh, changes to their marketing. They must have forgot about Red Force uh, which opened last year in Ferrari Land at Port Aventura because they were claiming this to be the tallest in Europe and obviously Red Force opened last year and all sorts going on there so yeah it's uh, it'd be the second tallest in Europe but not the tallest as they originally stated uh, but like we say you know they've changed the marketing and stuff now so I look forward to following it look forward to going to Poland and also going to Legendia uh, really to ride the Let Coaster that looks great definitely the highlight of that park and it's something I look forward to doing probably the back end of the year maybe summer to September uh, here on Theme Park Worldwide so stay tuned for that one it's it's now time for Merch Paradise. Now, as you all know, I've been going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach a hell of a lot since the end of 2017 to get updates on Icon, uh, the brand new double launch mega coaster, what will be opening in the next couple of months at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Anyway, me and Charlotte went there a couple of days ago over the weekend. We filmed the new Icon update, and if you want to see that, then check it out on our YouTube channel. It's in a dedicated playlist with all our other Icon updates. Of course, we were the first to get testing footage and also a lot of the track going up as well, so make sure you check the playlist out. Anyway, me and Charlotte went there a few days ago, had a great day over the weekend, the sun was shining, and we walked off the big one exit ramp, recognised a couple of people, uh, you know, who we know with our friends, and they're really nice, they're called Peter and Angela, and Angela does some really nice paintings, and she was showing me pictures of them uh, when we were there a couple of weeks ago with Andy, and so anyway, looking at them, and I said, you know, they look great. Anyway, he came off the big one uh, a couple of weeks later, uh, as, as in the, this weekend just gone, and uh, Angela gave me a gift, and I thought, that's really nice of them. And uh, yeah, she's actually done this really nice painting. I mean, you look at it from there, and you think, oh my God, it looks so detailed. Wait till you see it even closer. Look at that. Uh, you know, obviously it's Mickey Mouse in his sorcerer outfit. Uh, both Peter and Angela obviously know, uh, they watched the channel for a long time, they know that I'm a big fan of Disney parks. And uh, look at that, what she's done. That is amazing. It's one of my favourite things I've gotten out of the world of theme parks. The fact that it wasn't bought from Disney or, or another shop, you know, it's, it's been handmade, uh, hand painted. And just the detail on that, it's incredible. Honestly, you can make a fortune on these. Uh, but honestly, Angela, you are amazing. And I love that to bits. It's going to hang pride of place. Uh, at the world of theme parks. We've got a lot of special things here, uh, but certain things going in a special place right in front of where I sit now, basically. I've got a lot of special things over the back there. It's going to hang up there, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to do that, and I hope uh, the videos bring a lot of enjoyment to you. I know they do. I spoke to you a lot, but uh, honestly, this means so much. It really does. Um, so a big thank you, a very special merch paradise, and one that I'm going to treasure forever, that one. Really nice. So thank you very much. Uh, to the wonderful uh, Peter and Angela for that one. It's now time for Interact With Me. <music> 
I still can't believe how close we are to hitting that amazing milestone of 100,000 YouTube subscribers. I can't believe it. It's, it's just weird saying it. It really is. Uh, but once again, thank you to each and every one of you for all of your support and especially everyone that has subscribed to the channel and also sent things in uh, for the show or as it's now known, TPW Weekly over the years. If you do want to send something in for next week's celebration episode, then all you need to do is send them over via Instagram, via private message. Please don't send them as a story on Instagram. It does mean uh, that we can't get the same image uh, quality to share here on the channel. So send it as an actual message and not through your story. Or you can also send them over on Facebook as well. Just send them as a direct message to the official Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page. I look forward to sharing them next week as we celebrate a huge milestone here on Theme Park Worldwide. Also stay tuned throughout the week for another celebration video where I'll be talking all about uh, what the future plans are of the channel and my other side project. Project, uh, on YouTube certainly is very exciting. Here we go then, let's go through all the different items what we've had for this week. Firstly, we've got Ben with a Tower of Terror on Ride Photo. Thank you very much for sharing that one. We've then got Lee who's got a DC Rivals on Ride Photo. Loving that, very jealous and thanks for sending that one in. We've then got Lloyd who had a photo there with myself and Alex. It was great to meet you. Dart is up next with a photo outside the wonderful theme in Forbidden Valley at Alton Towers that is the Galactica Port. So thanks for sharing that one. Next up we've got Katie, Cameron and Frank who had a photo with me. It was lovely to see you all. And then we've got James who had a photo outside Wicker Man at Alton Towers. It's now open. Get yourself down there and check out the brand new wooden roller coaster. It certainly is a great ride. Moving on we've got Ian who had a photo there with me and Alex. Thanks for sharing that one. And then we've got Jack and Kerry's at Alton Towers. So thank you very much for sending that one in to us. Moving on then, we got Sam with a mumbo jumbo on ride photo from Flamingo Land. It's a great photo, Sam, and thanks for sharing it. We then got Michelle, uh, who sent in this photo of a son with me and Charlotte. So thanks for sending in that one. Uh, we then got Charlotte, who's got a Wicker Man on ride photo. So thank you very much, Charlotte, for sending in that one to us. Moving on, we've got Ollie with a photo outside Wicker Man. Very popular choice, Wicker Man, this week. Like I say, it officially opened the other day. Check out our vlog from when we visited the opening day. It was a great time uh, that we had there for checking out the brand new ride. Uh, thanks for that one there, Ollie. Moving on, we've got Sabrina with a photo there with me. It was lovely to meet you, Sabrina. Moving on, Natalina and the daughter there with me. Sorry, I'm awful at pronouncing some people's names. Uh, I really am. I'm awful at pronouncing a lot of things, not just names, but uh, there we go. Thank you very much for sending in your photo there uh, that you had there with me. Moving on, we've got Nathan with a swarm on ride photo from Thorpe Park. Had a great visit to Thorpe Park the other day and check out our brand new vlog that is now online. Uh, then we've got Nathan with a Wicker Man 3D art that you've got there. So thank you very much for sending that one in. I'm loving that. Uh, so there you go. Thank you very much uh, for sending in that one. Moving on then, we've got Aaron with the Port Aventura Guide. I've got that one. It's from quite a few years ago, isn't it? Uh, but there you go. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Uh, next up we've got Glenn, who's got a fantastic merchandise collection there. So thank you very much for sending it to us here at Theme Park Worldwide. Finally then, a very big happy birthday to Rob from all of us here at Theme Park Worldwide. I'm glad you enjoy watching the channel and I hope you have a great birthday. There we go then, that's the end of this week's episode. Thank you very much for watching uh, and I look forward to sharing more videos throughout the week. Check out our brand new vlog from Thorpe Park. Uh, Chessington went online last night as well. And like I say, stay tuned for this week for lots of live updates over on our social media pages uh, from Drayton Manor, uh, Fantasy Island and also the West Midlands Safari Park. I'm Sean Sandbrook. Thank you very much for watching Theme Park Worldwide and I'll see you in next week's episode. That means it's time to cue those credits. Bye, guys.